Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. This is the third project in our help this course, Screenshot 3. On Windows machine, install PDQ and deploy one software. Now you can use two virtual machines, make one server, another client to do this, or you can use your own one host, one system to do the same thing. Uh, we definitely um, assume that you went through all this section right here on the right side, and you read all this, you went through the whole video, and now you're attempting to to do this project as a membership plus member so now let's go ahead and download PDQ in my example I'm using my own system just one system so we're gonna go ahead and do PDQ and deploy Wow spellings alright PDQ deploy and then go ahead and click on download PDQ deploy make sure you put all this information and click on submit this is where you will get um, the email for the link or maybe you'll just get it right after it let's see yeah so you don't have to go to your email to download it so just click on download here and let's save this and whatever browser you're using you could be using Firefox or Chrome make sure you just go to your download wherever it's downloading mine is Firefox so it's gonna download to my uh, file explorer download and it's gonna come over here and it's already downloaded huh it's telling me that it found a malware and it's removed so make sure you guys know this is happening so let's go ahead and see anyways we just downloaded our um, PDQ and we're gonna go ahead and extract it so this is the PDQ right here even though I got an alarm from my antivirus you guys can ignore that and go ahead double click on PDQ I'm gonna go ahead and run it next accept the license next and install the deploy And that's it. You we will open our PDQ now. Let me close all this. All right. So now you have PDQ running. Go ahead and click next. Use free mode. Um, you can purchase pro or enterprise for companies. So the domain. Um, basically, you will put your your domain and the username and password. But if you're using your local admin account and if you let's say for example if you try to do require an existing administrator credential to deploy software must be administrator on this computer as well as the targets now this is really something if you're deploying it to other computers and you are a work group you need to make sure there's same password if you're a domain admin don't worry about it put the domain stuff in here and you should be good to go if I click on finish nothing will happen here so I need to put my username and password so if I go to my system now that's the one thing when you're on work group computers you might come run across these type of issues I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can copy my name here no it doesn't let me do that. oh I see what's going on here well, let's just do that click next invalid user oh. And remove this guy right here. Yep, so if you remove the domain because there is no domain and you do the computer name slash your username and then password, it should be on the word group. I never used this on word group in a very many, I don't know if many, many years ago, but most of the time you would be using this uh, in a like, you know, Active Directory kind of environment where it's easy to just put the domain name domain admin and bam you're good to go so what we're gonna do here is for to make it easy for this project since you guys wanna just do this project you guys can play around with it go to all um, package, package library right here and this kinda gives you things already in there so you don't need to look for things so as you guys can see there's already some of the things that are available for for you guys to uh, deploy so what I want you guys to deploy is pick one um, software in this and that's freely available so let's see what's available right here uh, flash is one of the smallest ones so let's just go ahead and import that you just click on import now it's importing creating the package and I can tell you guys you know in a real world example I'm telling you if you purchase the pro one 
it is a daily calls about Adobe these these things this is we we do we deal with this daily and this software is amazing so I gotta say thank you to the developers on these uh, this is amazing software so I have to say that we've package right here and then now you created the package you can do whatever you want to do with the package but the only thing that I'm checking in this project is to you will click on deploy deploy once and now you're gonna choose a target now in most cases you'll be looking to extra directory finding out the computers but in this case you know we know our computer name is this you'll just put that in there and deploy now now what I want you guys to do is to um, once you put the the computer name in here um, now if you don't want to show your computer name in a screenshot that's fine you can just um, put something on it like you know cross it out go to the paint take it out uh, but I, what I want you guys to do is after this when it's connecting even though if it says fail don't worry about it it says access denied because we didn't do something correctly and this is something that you can watch the whole videos on the right side to kinda know my main goal on this project is for you to deploy install PDQ and do the process process is the main thing the rest you will find out by searching and doing things playing around with it you'll find this up but I want you guys to change this to rename it to your initials again and put deploy your initials your last name deploy click OK take a screenshot so this has to match your profile deploy and then take a screenshot the same way we'll just take a screenshot right here like this and send it to us with the other screenshots thank you